Yo, what's up, y'all? Your boy is back. You already know what we came to do today. We talking about these damn scammies. Other words, the Grammys. Um, first and foremost, if the weekend had been nominated for the for the songs and the music that he actually submitted for, he would have swept the freaking Grammys, okay? Hands down, facts. Debate your freaking grandmother if you feel a different way. Um, I know for a fact that like, yo, it, <laughs> it's crazy that the Grammys had to act as if he didn't exist. One and two. A lot of the songs or a lot of the uh, people who actually won Grammys this year, I feel like they were placeholders because of the weekend's music wasn't there. <laughs> like, for example, for a record of the year or song of the year, easily could have been for Blind and Lights because that bitch has not gotten off the radio yet. And, um, you know, what they gave song of the year to, I think they gave song of the year to uh, Her by I Can't Breathe. So... And then they gave record of the year to Billie Eilish for um, everything I wanted, which is like, no, that definitely was not the record of the year. Uh, everything I wanted is not a bad song, by the way. It's not a bad song. But um, I feel like in this instance, um, it could have easily went to Doja Cat or easily went to Megan. Um, but, you know, it's the Grammys. So blah, blah, blah. And I think somebody, I'm, I'm not sure because I didn't watch the Grammys, but I believe people were saying that Billie Eilish was on stage talking about how, um, she didn't deserve the award and all these other people deserved it and all this other stuff. Like, you know, essentially like what Macklemore did to Kendrick. Like we don't need none of that. We, we don't need that. Stop, stop Billie, please don't do that. That's one thing we don't, you don't do. Do not do that. Okay. You doing it, Adele doing it, stop. Stop. Because at the end of the day, it don't change the fact that you won. You know, it don't change the fact that you going home with the trophy and they going home. Well, they still went home with stuff. But you going home with the damn thing. Just stop. <laughs> stop. Um. Anyways, I don't know, man. I feel like when it comes to the Grammys, bro, I said this in a previous video, but, you know, it's all the popularity contest. You know, I don't feel like the Grammys hold any weight anymore. I don't feel like the Grammys really like, I mean, unless you have been putting in work for years and years and years, and this is something that you've been actively working towards and you finally win it. Like for example, Tanache, or I, I hope I said her name right. She's been working towards this and she got one with uh, K Tranada. I'm very, very happy for her. I'm very, very happy for K Tranada. I'm very, very happy for uh, Thundercat. You know, I'm very, very happy for these guys. Um, but as a whole, you know, thing, it's just like you see, you start to realize like, yo, the Grammys don't really care, bro. The Grammys just look to see what is trending, what's popular, and let's go ahead and give them the Grammy. Let's go ahead and feed them. And, and, and that's it, you know, because look at how many freaking Grammys Billie Eilish won just last year. <laughs> no, like for real, think about it. You know, look how many Grammys she won just last year. Look how many Grammys uh, Megan won last night, you know, but not to say that Megan didn't work her ass off, you know, but although I would say that I feel like Lil Baby definitely deserved a Grammy for the bigger picture. I if they're going to give a Grammy to her for um, I Can't Breathe, they're going to give a Grammy to Anderson Pack for Lockdown. Give Lil Baby the Grammy for the bigger picture, okay? If y'all want to be like performative activists like you are, the Grammys, go ahead and complete the trifecta. Why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why not? You know, and it's bad enough y'all got freaking uh, Lil Baby um, performing and a cop uh, re well, reenacting a cop shooting a uh, black man. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Go ahead. Just give the man the freaking Grammy. Um, I did not think that Megan Thee Stallion would have won for both rap, uh, best rap performance and best rap song, but she did. You know, um, I did expect her to win for best new artist, though. I did expect that, um, which is cool. You know, definitely cool. The fact that she even won a Grammy in the first place is is really dope. You know, because of all the things that she's dealt with, all the things that she's had to deal with, you know, leading up to this point, you know, it's really, really dope to see. Um, again, though, still, <laughs> I would have loved to see Lil Baby win a Grammy. I would have loved to see uh, Doja Cat win a Grammy. I would have loved to see Chloe and Haley win something. Why didn't Chloe and Haley win a Grammy, bro? 
Like, what what was that about? Y'all really gave John Legend the best R&B album? Who, like, I need people in the comment section. Please let me know. Did you even know that John Legend dropped a new album? Please be real. Like, no, no joke, no trolling stuff. Legit. Did you even know that he dropped an album? I don't think you did. Because I didn't. You know what I'm saying? And then, even if they didn't want to give... Let's say they didn't want to give Chloe and Haley... Well, they didn't. They didn't want to give Chloe and Haley the best uh, R&B album, right? Give Giannis right there for Take Time. Give him the damn thing. Y'all want to be trending and y'all want to look at the popularity and all that? Give that man the freaking Grammy then. Because I know for a fact... I know more people who listen to Give Giannis Take Time than John Legend... I don't, what's the name of the album, bro? The name of the album is called Bigger Love. I don't even remember I, what other guys that I'm happy for. I'm very, very happy for Dua Lipa. She won Best Pop Vocal Album uh, for F uh, Future Nostalgia. That was a really, really good album. Um, I'm very happy, very, very happy that they did not give that Grammy to Justin Bieber. I'm sorry, yo. I got to talk about it. I got to talk about it, son. That album is hot ass, okay? Sheik's on a stick, okay, and the fact that Justin Bieber was doing all of that, y'all remember, that man was going through hoops and jumping through freaking alleyways just to get that damn album to number one, just to try to beat Roddy Rich, bro, just, he, Justin Bieber dropped a damn, I don't even know how long Changes was, but he dropped that freaking album, and that album was the, literally the same song over and over and over again, bro. <laughs> Yo. Thank you, Grammys. You did something right. You gave the right person the Grammy on this one. All right. So I'm very, very happy for Dua Lipa. Best pop duo slash group performance. I definitely expected Lady Gaga and Ariana to win. So I'm very, very happy for them. Best rap album. Nas won, of course. Um, very, very happy for everybody who did get nominated for uh, best rap album. Um, I was expecting, I was hoping, I was praying <laughs> that uh, Freddie Gibbs and Alchemist got that Grammy. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still happy for uh, Royce. I'm still happy for Jay, Electronica, Nas, and uh, Freddie. I don't listen to D-Smoke, but happy for him as well. Um, I feel like Nas winning this Grammy was like a here you go after being nominated 14 freaking times. Just take it. That's really what this says to me. Like, I know we've nominated you way too many freaking times in the past and you didn't win. So, you know, you have an opportunity here. We're just going to give it to you. So, um, thank you. And that's it, you know, um, because if we be in real, I definitely feel like Freddie Gibbs album was way better. But, you know, that's just me personally. Kanye West. Kanye West wins a Grammy, bro. Kanye West won a Grammy for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album with Jesus is King. Now, I'm not mad at the fact that Kanye won a Grammy for a Christian album. I'm not mad at the fact that Kanye won a Grammy. Actually, I kind of am. I'm mad at the fact that Kanye won a Grammy months ago, months before this. The man uploaded a video peeing on said Grammy. So, it begs to hit me in the freaking dome, right? Pause if necessary. What is the specifications, yo? <laughs> like, son, you mean to tell me that you could just upload yourself pissing on a freaking Grammy and then go on to win one? But if you actually go ahead and drop an album that is freaking sure fire and drop a damn song that's still going crazy on the radio to this day after dropping a year ago and... You can't get nothing, Lord? You can't get nothing? Huh? But let me go ahead and upload a video peeing on freaking Grammy. I could go ahead and win that. And it's in a Christian category. This don't make no damn sense, yo. At this point, I'm I'm legit thinking in my head, the committee was sitting around the room, and when they got to Best Contemporary Christian Album, they was like, oh, well, it's Kanye. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Like, that's what I thought. That's the only thing that, th that came in my freaking head. Because it don't make sense. You f what album of the year album of the freaking year, bro. I already knew from the get go that Taylor Swift was going to win. I didn't listen to folklore. I'm not going to talk bad about the album. 
but I already knew from the get-go that there was no way in this blue sky that Janae Aiko was going to win or anybody else who was nominated was going to win. I just knew. I just knew. I just knew. I just knew. And of course, I wanted to see Janae Aiko win. Of course. But I, I'm like, Taylor Swift in there? Oh, yeah. She she got that. She Nobody else is winning. And, and what happened? Taylor Swift freaking won. So I'm not surprised by that at all. Um, but again, I will say, oh yeah, uh, best pop solo performance, uh, Harry Styles won for, uh, Watermelon Sugar. Um, I'm very happy that Yummy didn't win because I promise y'all if he did, I might've shut the whole channel down. Yo, I'm not even going to lie. Channel shut down, Twitter deactivated everything. I'm moving to a freaking forest in Japan and I'm gone, son. I'm freaking gone. Do they like black people? I don't freaking know. We're going to find out. But look, <laughs> the Grammys, man. Um, at the end of the day, like I keep saying, it's just a popularity thing. Um, I was happy for a lot of the more underrated artists who did get nominated. I was happy to see a lot more, I guess a lot more black artists get nominated. Um, but at the same time, I felt like there were definitely some people who deserved a, you know, a Grammy more so than others, you know? And again, the weekend was robbed again. The, like the whole thing I kept thinking in my head the whole time I was like looking at updates on Twitter I'm like yo the weekend really got robbed bro <laughs> like it really doesn't make any sense just talking about it make my freaking head hurt bro um y'all let me know in the comment section your thoughts and your opinions on the freaking scammies the Grammys Dylan let me know your thoughts did you watch the Grammys did you keep up with the updates on Twitter um who did you want to see win? Are you happy with the, who did win? Talk to me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. As always, join the squad. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, man. Um, I don't know, bro. I think to those who did win, cool, you know, kudos. Kudos to y'all, bro. But at the end of the day, the weekend was freaking robbed. And, uh, you know, flipped the damn Grammys. And that's how I'm going to end this bitch off, man. I'm going to catch y'all. Y'all be easy. Y'all be safe. Peace.